So I finished up on the uh, tang section. Took a rink to get a drink of water. And now we'll do the period from 916 to 1368, which is the Liao, Song, Shia, Shishia, Jin, and Yuan dynasties. Multi-ethnic regimes and unification. A new political pattern began to take shape in the 10th century AD. The Han people established the Song Dynasty and ruled over land stretching from the Middle and Lower Yellow River to the South China Sea. Later they were forced to retreat to the south but maintained the dominant influence in economic and cultural spheres. In the north, the Qidong, the Dangxiang, and the New Gen people set up independent regimes, while the Tubo and the Dali kingdoms governed the southwest. Tubo and Dali. This period of polarized multi-ethnic regimes ended in the 13th century when the Mongols rose up and unified China. Tibet and other regions became part of Chinese territory. Despite incessant war throughout more than 400 years, communications between ethnic groups kept growing and China maintained close contact with the outside world. Let's see. Chidan Kitan, ancient ethnic people, North China. After unifying the Chidan tribes early 10th century AD, their chieftain Yelu Aboji proclaimed himself emperor and founded the Liao dynasty 916 AD. The Liao was overthrown by the Jin dynasty in 1125. Stone tablet from Sharira Stupa dedicated to Master Cheng Hui on earth that Liao Yuan. Gilded silver gudu weapon and size decoration. Gilded silver saddle ornaments, replicas unearthed from Liao tombs of Emperor Son in Law Chai Feng in a Mongolia Autonomous Region. Song ended the era of political fragmentation in the five dynasties and ten kingdoms. Period. <laughs> <Period. coughs> to prevent division and strengthen central authority, Northern Song rulers took control over local military matters, official appointments, financial decisions, judicial powers. In the Middle Northern Song, a social crisis arose and was responded to by reforms called for by a group of scholar officials. 1127, Northern Song overthrown by the Jin. Bronze seals belonging to infantry subdivision of Imperial Family. Bronze seal, Northern Song. Vice Commander of Cavalry Subdivision, Imperial Army. Letter appointing Min Kong Jo as Director of Criminal Bureau, Replica, Northern Song. Hand scroll ink on paper. Yuan Yu Click 
belly rubbing. Southern song. <coughs> Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Bronze plate. Worn by minor military officer Fu Yuan Circuit. Present day Shanxi province after military reforms introduced. Xiang Tanger, ancient people, northwest China, branch of Xiang people, 1038, Dang Xiang leader, Yuan Ho, proclaimed himself emperor and established the Daxia dynasty, referred to as Shijia. The Mongols destroyed the Shijia dynasty in 1227. Bronze seal, Shishia script, br bronze waist pass. Bears the name and position of the owner and was used as a travel permit when crossing a checkpoint. Bronze pass. Used by Shishia messengers delivering urgent documents or orders. Consists of two bronze plates that fit into each other, <coughs> each inscribed with Shijia script. Gray pottery, Kalava Rika shaped architectural ornament. <coughs> Shijia dynasty, glazed pottery, Kala Vinca shaped architectural ornament, Shijia dynasty. Barely see this. Bronze mirror paired fishes, Heilongjiang province. This is the largest Jin Dynasty bronze mirror yet discovered. Nu Jin was an ancient people living in northeast China. In the early 12th century, Aguda leader of the Wanyan tribe unified the New Jin tribes and established the Jin Dynasty in 1115. After overthrowing the Liao in 1125 and the Northern Song in 1127, the Jin occupied the vast region north of the Wai River and confronted the Southern Song. In 1274, the Jin Dynasty fell to the Mongols. That's when the Northern Song went down to Hangzhou as their capital, it became the Southern Song. Gilded silver waist ornament with crystal jade and agates. Jin Dynasty. This luxurious waist ornament worn by New Jin nobility. Bronze seal. Jin Dynasty. Local military officer. Bronze seal. Chief of Hang Hangzhou Prefecture, Jin Dynasty. Glazed pottery chi wen roof ridge ornament Shijia Dynasty Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region A 
Chi Wen's an ornament placed <coughs> on each end of the roof ridge. Ni Chen examination candidate Stella Rubbing, Jin Dynasty, first year of Changda era, Henan province. The Jin government adopted the imperial examination system of the Liao and Song dynasties to select officials. The inscription written in New Gen script on the back of this stele records the New Gen candidates who successfully passed the examination. Jin defeated the Liao and the northern Song dynasties and seized the vast lands north of the Huai River. In 1127, Zhou Gu established the southern Song dynasty at Lin'an, present-day Hangzhou, in Zhejiang province, and continued to fight against the Jin army. Yeah, that's what I remember from when I was in Hangzhou. After the Shaoxing Peace Treaty of 1141, there was a long period of confrontation between the two dynasties until both were overthrown by the Mongols. I wonder if that's the Shaoxing area near Ningbo, where they are famous for their wine. Four generals of the Restoration. Painting portrays four famous generals who waged a campaign against the Jin invaders in the early Southern Song. Liu Guangxi, Han, Qi Zhang, Zhang Zhen, and UFA. UFA, this last one here, is the one who they have the temple to at the north end of the causeway. Elm Westlake, he was betrayed and then later exonerated. I think he got too powerful for his rivals. That's what they're showing here. They have these statues at his temple, his betrayers. Chin Hui, powerful minister, early Southern Song, strong advocate for making peace with the Jin. He persuaded Emperor Go Zhang to remove the military powers of generals like Han Shi Zhang and Yue who resisted the Jin. He then fabricated charges against Yue and his son and had them executed. Chin facilitated the signing of the Shaoxing Peace Treaty between the Southern Song and the Jin in 1141. Hmm. Jade Seal for the Imperial Buddhist Preceptor. Yuan Dynasty. Portrait of Genghis Khan replica. Gilded bronze seal replica. The seal inscription reads King of the Balian Seal. In 1326, Emperor Tai Ding conferred the title King of Balin upon a Tibetan nobleman named Sodnim's Songpo. bronze seal replica. This seal in Fagspa in script belonged to the local administrator of Meng Wang, one of the six subdivisions within administrative units set up by the UN government at present day Xishuang Bana, Yunnan province, 1292. Brown glazed porcelain flask. Mm -hmm. 
Brown glazed porcelain flask with carved floral design. Ning Xia Hui Autonomous Region. This flask is a common Xijia porcelain vessel and shows strong ethnic characteristics. Economy, Southern Song Dynasty. In the Song, Song Dynasty, China's economic center moved to the south. Ten, tenancy contracts common in urban and rural areas. Tenant peasants, as well as independent craftsmen and tradesmen increased. Commercial economy thrived, big cities grew in number. Markets in the countryside became widespread, and the world's first paper currency was in circulation. Unification of the unification of China and the Yuan Dynasty ended regional economic fragmentation. So that's the Mongol reign. Restored agricultural production and revitalized trade and industry under the Mongols, the Yuan Dynasty. Hmm. Green glazed porcelain vase with incised floral design. Yojo ware. Song Dynasty, 960, 1279. Hmm. Lavender gray glazed porcelain incense burner, Quan Ware. Southern Song Dynasty, 1127, 1279. and crop production and textiles. From the Liao and Song to the Yuan Dynasty, achievements were made in agronomy as demonstrated in a number of books from that time introducing agricultural production. The broad dissemination of agricultural techniques and knowledge was beneficial to crop production in the textile industry. Cultivated lands were expanded considerably and advanced farming tools were in wide use. Crop varieties were exchanged between the north and south and the yield per unit area was greatly enhanced. Stone engraving after farming and weaving. These stone engraving were carved after Lu Shu's Paintings in Southern Song Dynasty, the original 45 paintings depict the stages of rice and silk production in present-day Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces, each accompanied with a poem. Hmm. So the uh, Chang'an area, Jiang'an. South of the Yangtze. Hmm. Trade movements. What are we looking at? Nang Shu book on agriculture. Chain Long era. Nong Seng Ji Yao. Essentials of agriculture and sericulture. Water-powered mills model based on Book of Agriculture, UN Dynasty. Cotton gin model, UN Dynasty, from the UN, UN Dynasty book uh, on agriculture by Wang Zhen. They've reproduced these models. Ka 
cotton spinning wheel model, full size model, wide circulation of paper currency, the world's first paper currency called GOG appeared in China in the late 10th century. During the Song and Jin dynasties, different official paper currencies were issued. After unification of China and the Yuan dynasty, government issued Bao Cho became the only legal currency. Bao Cho was first fixed to the value of silk and later to a silver standard, contributing to the development of mature paper currency system. Bronze plate for printing YG paper currency. In 1161, YG was issued nationwide by the <coughs> Southern Song government, and an administrative office was set up at the capital, Lin'an, present day Hangzhou, Zhejiang province. 1161. Hmm. World's first paper currency, Jiaoji. Jiaoji. Hmm. Bronze plate for printing Xinding Bao Chuan paper currency. 1154, Jin government began to issue Jiao Chao paper <coughs> currency. The Jin frequently changed currencies due to inflation and Xinding Bao Chuan was one of the paper currencies in circulation. Bronze plate for printing <coughs> Ji Yuan Tong Xing Bao Chou paper currency. Bao Chou paper currency was the only legal currency in the Yuan dynasty. Regulation introduced by the UN government regarding the circulation of the Bao Chao in the GUN era constitutes the world's earliest relatively complete set of regulations <coughs> governing a monetary system. <coughs> GUN Tongxing Bao Chao paper currency. Tibet Autonomous Region. Weights and measures. The Song and Yuan governments had strict control over weights and measures and prohibited private participation. During the Song Dynasty, the production and administration of instruments for weights and measures was directly under central control. In the Yuan Dynasty, the central government issued standardized instruments and provincial administrations were responsible for production and management. Wooden Carpenters Square, Northern Song Dynasty. During the Song Dynasty, one chi equaled about 31 centimeters. Bronze weight. Xiangtan, Hunan Province. This bronze weight was a standard weighing device issued by the government. Melon shaped bronze weight, Song Dynasty, Yuan Dynasty, Dadi era, bronze weight, Yuan Dynasty, different eras. Porcelain production. The Liao and Song to Yuan Dynasty period is noted for famous kilns and fine porcelain, as well as advancements in ceramic technology and output. The so-called five famous kilns of the Song, together with blue and white and underglazed red porcelain of the Yuan, best exemplify the outstanding achievements in the porcelain industry at that time. Green glazed porcelain with vase with tubular legs. Wenware, Southern Song. This vase is an imitation of an ancient bronze vessel called a Tuhu. Hmm. 
porcelain brush washer Ruwear. Rose Violet Glaze Porcelain Brush Washer Junware White Glaze Porcelain Bowl with Incised Lotus Design Dingware The kilns of Guan, Gi, Ru, Ding, and Jun are known as the five famous kilns of the Song Dynasty. The Guan kilns refer to those set up by the central government to produce porcelain for imperial use. The Gi kilns were said to be founded in the southern Song dynasty by the elder brother of the Jang family, and their exact location is still unknown. The Ru kilns, named after their location at Rujo, present day Bofeng, Henan province, produced porcelain for imperial use in the late northern Song, and only a few of their products were handed down to today. The Ding Kilns, named after their location at Dingzhou, present-day Chuyang, Hebe province, were set up in the late Tang among the Jung Kilns at present-day Yuxian, Henan province. He Bagua Dong Kiln at Gentai was an imperial kiln established in the late Northern Song, specializing in decorative objects for imperial use. Lavender gray glazed porcelain vase with embossed floral design, Long Chuan wear. Southern Song. Porcelain brush washer with inscription. 11 Chinese characters on body of this vessel read, made by Jiang Tai in second year of the Da'an era. Porcelain bottle, Yukai wear, Jin Dynasty. Other famous kilns in the Song Dynasty. Apart from the five famous kilns, other influential kiln sites included Jing Dezhen, Longchuan, Yozhou, Sijo, Jijo, and Yukai. Hmm. Longchuan kilns, present day Longchuan, Zhejiang province. I don't know if that's the one that was near Hangzhou in the mountains. Were set up in late Southern Song and developed out of the Yue kilns while absorbing traditions of the kilns of U, Ue, present day Wenzhou, Zhejiang, and Wu, present day Jinhua, Zhejiang. The Yaozhou kilns at present-day Tongchuan, Shanxi province were established in the Tang Dynasty and reached their heyday during the late Song, the late Northern Song. The, the, the Tsijou kilns at present-day Handan, Hebei province produced Celadon as early as the Sui Dynasty and reached a creative high point during the Song Dynasty. The Jijo kilns, named for their location at Jijo, present-day Jian, Jiangsu province, began porcelain production in the late Tang Dynasty and reached a flourishing period during the Southern Song. The non-governmental Yukai kilns at present-day Yu Jijing, Taiyuan, Shanxi province, reached a peak period of production in the late in the Jin and Yuan dynasties. After the Jin overthrew the Northern Song, many of the famous Song kilns continued production and porcelain became one of the handicraft industries that thrived during the Jin. Tricolor porcelain pillow with lotus design, Sijo wear. White glazed porcelain dish with dragon design, Ding wear. Porcelain bowl with tortoiseshell glaze. Jijo wear. Northern ceramics and nomadic characteristics. Ceramics of the Liao and Shijia dynasties demonstrate both influence of the central plains and distinctive nomadic cultural traditions. Green glazed porcelain vase, Liao dynasty. Unearthed from tomb two of ancestral family tombs of Xiao Shen Wei at Qing Hemen, Shijian. Liaoning province. 
Yellow glazed porcelain vase with long neck, Liao Dynasty. Brown glazed vase with carved and incised penny design, peony design. Shijia Dynasty. Green glazed porcelain flask, Liao Dynasty. That's this one, okay. Liao Dynasty, and this one is green glazed porcelain flask. This is brown glazed vase carved in incised peony. Six. Sankai glazed porcelain dish with stamped fish design. Seven porcelain pillow with tortoise shell glaze. Eight Sankai glazed porcelain dish with stamped peony design. Blue and white and underglaze red porcelain of the Yuan Dynasty. In the Yuan Dynasty, porcelain manufacturing techniques and decorative designs reached a higher level. A new technique in which color was applied under glaze, as found in blue and white under glaze red porcelain, constitutes a major achievement in the history of Chinese ceramics. The Shufu kiln set up at present day Jingdezhen, Jiangxi province, and Yuan dynasty produced porcelain tailored for the government. They were named after the two characters Shufu inscribed on most of the products. The Longchuang kilns became more prominent during the Yuan in a system of unique Celadon kilns emerged into Zhang, Fujian, and Jiangxi, creating porcelain wares that were traded in East Asia, East Africa, and the Arabian world. Underglaze red porcelain figure. Porcelain dish shufu ware. Porcelain dish shufu ware. Blue and white porcelain vase with plantain leaf design. Yuan Dynasty unearthed at Guan, Jiangxi province. Sky blue glazed porcelain jar in the shape of a peach. Genware, Yuan Dynasty. Porcelain vase with dragon shaped handles and open work stand, Jian. Where? Inner Mongolia. Green glazed porcelain vase with intertwining peony design, Long Chuan ware. White glazed porcelain jar with children playing Sijo ware. Big old Buddha. Avalokitesvavari Bodhisattva Song Dynasty, 960-1279. The goddess of mercy, Bodhisattva of mercy, Guan Yin. Blue and white porcelain bottle with cloud and dragon design. Underglaze blue, Yuan Dynasty. 1206 to 1368. Green glazed porcelain vase with tubular lugs, long chuan ware. Southern Song Dynasty. Porcelain incense burner with fish shaped handles, ghee ware, Southern Song. Rose violet glazed porcelain flower pot, gen ware. Song Dynasty, 960-1279. 
Stone Relief with Paired Phoenix and Chilin Chilin Design UN Dynasty Unearthed from Ming City Wall Foundations West of Huai P. Jang Based on the original at Fogong Temple, Yingxi and Shanxi. This 66.6 meter high pagoda was built in 1056 during the Viao Dynasty. It's entirely wooden structure with 60 kinds of dugong brackets inserted between columns and cross beams to support the roof and the earliest intact wooden pagoda in China. daily life. The growth of cities had a great impact on society and lifestyle during the period from the Liao and Song to the Yuan Dynasty. The rise in city residents accelerated a boom in urban commerce and culture. Higher standards for everyday consumption linked the market to daily necessities and a demand for more exquisite and diverse products. Entertainment was commercialized and available to commoners. At the same time, religious pluralism grew. So, growing middle class, essentially. Major cities, urban populations grew rapidly beginning in the Song Dynasty and exceeded 100,000 in some capital cities. Divisions between residential and commercial districts are no longer prevalent in urban areas. Shops are found everywhere and trade prospered. The nomadic peoples in the north built cities modeled after Han cities. Brick and dragon design from Kaibo Temple Pagoda. The Kaibo Temple Pagoda, located at Kaifeng, Henan Province, was first built as a wooden structure in 982 AD and later rebuilt in bricks. It is decorated with brown ornamental bricks and glazed tiles on the outside. The color is close to iron, so it is also referred to as Iron Pagoda. Glazed brick from Po Pagoda, Northern Song. Po Pagoda, located at Tianqing Temple in Kaifeng, Henan Province, was completed after 990 AD. Brick from Dongjing City Wall, Northern Song Dynasty. Beyond River Boat model based on the life along the Beyond River at Qingming Festival by Zhang Juduan, Northern Song Dynasty. It's a tomb uh, sweeping day, isn't it? Venerate their ancestors. There's a famous big painting, the Qingming Festival. Brick with car floral design, UN Dynasty. <sighs> Animal shaped tile ridge ornament, UN Dynasty.
stone balustrade panel with dragon design. UN Dynasty, Shiji Gate. Trademarks increased prosperity in the commodity economy led to greater competition in the emergence of advertising and branding. The wide use of trademarks signaled a new stage of economic development. Silver dish with cherry blossom design and craftsman's mark, Song Dynasty. Bronze mirrors and gold or silver metalwork of the Song Dynasty were usually identified with the names of the workshop or the craftsman. Silver dish with flowering hydrangea design and craftsman's mark, Song Dynasty. Bronze mirror. Inscribed by the Shi family. Huzhou in present-day Zhejiang province was famous for producing bronze mirrors in the Song Dynasty, and the Shi family was among the most celebrated manufacturers. Mirror inscriptions identify the ranking of the Shi family member, workshop location, and even the price indications of market awareness. Bronze mirror inscribed by Shi family. The 12 character inscription on this mirror states that it was made by the Shi family at Hujo and speaks of its excellent quality. Sunflower shaped bronze mirror with workshop mark. According to six character inscription on this mirror, it was carefully made at a workshop called Li Dao or Qijo, present day Jian, Jiangxi province. Bronze plate for printing needle shop advertisement, Song Dynasty. This plate is inscribed with a logo and message advertising the needle shop of the Liu family at Jinan. It is the earliest extant evidence of commercial advertisement. Daily utensils, the flourishing commodity economy had considerable influence on urban lifestyle as the pursuit of exquisite luxury goods stimulated progress in the handicraft industry. Daily utensils became more varied and technically advanced. Gold ornamental plaque with Vichy design, Shishia dynasty. Bronze mirror was seen from story of Liu Yi. This mirror produced by New Gen people is decorated with a scene from the Tang Dynasty story of Liu Yi and indicates the influence of the Han culture. Silver pot with fish scale pattern. Liao Dynasty unearthed from the Liao tomb of Emperor's son-in-law at at the uh, Chifang, Inner Mongolia, Autonomous Region. Gilded silver flask with deer design. Liao Dynasty, Inner Mongolia, Autonomous Region, Chifang. Bronze mirror with paired phoenix and animals, Liao Dynasty, Chifang. Bronze mirror with four phoenixes and inscription Liao Dynasty, Chain Long Era, 1107. Chain Tong, not Chain Long, Chain Tong. Chain Long is Ching. Lacquer cosmetic box, Southern Song Dynasty. Lacquer bowl inscribed with Fagspa script. 
Lacquer Box, Northern Song Dynasty. Lobed Lacquer Box, Southern Song, Jiangsu Province. Economic progress, the rise of cities, and the spread of education contributed to the development of food culture, while ethnic peoples inside China exchanged dietary traditions, travel, and contact with foreign lands brought exotic traditions to China. Brick relief with female preparing fish, Northern Song Dynasty. Brick relief with female washing dishes. Silver cup with 25 lobes. Let's see. Is that this one? Silver ewer. Silver ewer. In size floral design and warming bowl. Misty blue glazed porcelain ewer with warming bowl. That's that one. Silver bowls with spout. Silver ladle. These are all Yuan Dynasty from Anhui Province in Jiangsu. That one's from Inner Mongolia. You can see the Turkic Persian influence. Yuan Dynasty. Anhui Province. Yuan Dynasty, huh? Hmm. Stone relief with paired phoenix and Chilin design, Yuan Dynasty. Huapi, Huai Pi Chang. Painted brick reliefs with couple holding a banquet. Northern Song Dynasty. Down Sioux Province. During the period from the Liao and Song to the Yuan Dynasty, public places appeared where the audience could watch the performing arts like Shi Chua. Chinese opera, Chu Yi, local flavored talking and singing, and acrobatics. Yuan Dynasty, Jia Ju, poetic drama set to music is the earliest mature form of drama in China and a milestone in the history of Chinese drama. Brick relief with Ding Du Sai, famous actress of the Ju Zhe. Drama, Northern Song Capital, Beyond Qing, present day Kaifeng, Henan Province. This brick relief showing Ding acting in a play is the earliest image of Chinese opera performer yet discovered. Hmm. Pottery figure, striking clappers, Jin Dynasty, Henan Province. Pottery flute player, Jin Dynasty. Yunnan province. Bronze mirror with puppet show. Song Dynasty. In the Song Dynasty, Chinese puppet performances reached full maturity. Song Dynasty, bronze mirror with figure playing Kuju. Kuju is an ancient Chinese sport similar to football. It originated in the spring and autumn period and was popular during the Tang and Song dynasties. Bronze seated Verukana Buddha, Yuan Dynasty. Religions. Various religions were active in China during the period spanning the Liao and Song to the Yuan Dynasty. The Yuan's Yuan court policy of religious tolerance encouraged the expansion of many religious many religions. 
while Buddhism and Taoism remain prevalent in the central plains and south. Tibetan Buddhism is popular among the ruling class, and Islam began to take hold in localities across the country, and Christianity was spreading as well. Hmm. Virakana Buddha. Gilded bronze seated Aksobya Buddha. Jade Taoist tablets with red paint. Foreign trade and transportation. The period from Lao and Song to Yuan Dynasty witnessed unprecedented expansion in overseas trade and foreign relations that strengthened economic and cultural connections between China and other Euro Asian, European, and African countries. Hmm. I should probably start a new video for this section on the Chinese junk, maybe. Good place to stop. <laughs> 